Today we're going to be reviewing the Purple Skeleton Halloween Air Force One. I have been extremely excited to pick these things up, ah, but I got some bad news. I wasn't able to get them in my size, but I wanted the shoe so bad, I figured maybe we could work a trade. We'll talk about that a little bit later in the video, but for now, we gotta crack these things open and get our first impression. And if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA Show. Hey! So starting with the box, we have your classic Air Force One style box. Retail on these things is going to be $130. And by the looks of the size tag right here, I got a size 10 and a half in men's. I'm gonna work my magic. I gotta find these things in the 13. If you can help me out, please. Flipping open the lid of the box, you have your Air Force One paper with the all over print. And then you got the shoe. Oh, you got the shoe. Okay, first impressions of this sneaker. They feel like some regular Air Force Ones, but they have a nice little twist to them, especially with the glow in the dark bottom. So overall, I like them. So before we get started breaking down all the fine details of this sneaker, we gotta talk about the history first. As we all know, we have seen plenty of Halloween Air Force Ones, Dunks, and other Nike sneakers over many, many of years in the past, but they decided to go with the skeleton vibes on the original skeleton a few years ago. After that, we then saw another colorway come out the following year, and then another colorway after that, and then now we have this purple colorway that just came out as well. Each of the four skeleton Air Force Ones that have come out are very, very similar, yet there are small differences when it comes to the midsoles or the details on the upper or something little like that, and then obviously the main color of the shoe. So for those that did not know, this is not the first time they've done the skeleton Air Force One. This is the fourth one that we have seen, and I'm sure that we probably could see some more in the the future as well who knows if this is the end of the pack or not but either way these things are fire and i feel like a lot of people are sleeping on them now let's go ahead and get into the details starting with the outsole you have your classic air force one vibe with the all over milky outsole going up to the midsole same exact as that with the white stitch on here but there is definitely one major hit to this that we all love about this series and that is the glow in the dark outsole as you can see from the in hand shots right here with the outsole glowing in the dark this is a super dope touch and it makes complete sense when you think about Halloween, shoes with the glow in the dark, even on the previous Mummy SB, those had the glow in the dark sole, and that also made a lot of sense with the Halloween vibes. So I'm really enjoying that hit on this shoe. And I feel like for the most part, typically when you have a glow in the dark outsole or a gum bottom outsole, a lot of people like it. Now, don't get me wrong. There are definitely some ugly shoes out there in this world that have a glow in the dark outsole or a gum bottom outsole on them. But for the most part, I feel like a lot of people enjoy it, including myself. Now going to the upper of the sneaker, this right here honestly just feels like your classic all white Air Force One. You got your standard leather right here on the upper, all purple. And I thought that the skeleton foot right here on the side profile shot on the both the inside and the outside of the foot, I thought that glowed in the dark. But when I hit it with the black light or with just natural light going into the dark, it doesn't glow in the dark. So that's one thing that I wish they would have done. But at the same time, I can't complain. I still like the shoe. One additional touch that does glow in the dark is your Air Force One lace lock here on the front end on the toe of the foot. And speaking of the laces, these don't come with any additional laces. So you don't have a set of glow in the dark laces. They just come with your standard purple to match with the upper and kind of blend in. And I, again, I'm not really mad at that either. One dope hit that I'm not sure if everybody noticed, but on typical Air Force ones you have your nike and then it says air force one right below it but the nike branding here on the tongue is actually done with like bones so it kind of matches the foot skeleton on the side of the shoe and i think that's a dope little touch that you know i always like the little details i feel like that's pretty dope and speaking of details we have another one on the inside of the foot you have a purple sock liner with a purple insole but you also have the skeleton foot going throughout the entire insole as well with your nike air vibes and everything like that going to the back of the shoe you have your classic nike air vibes nothing special about that right here on the back end and i feel like overall with this shoe being yet so wild with the glow in the dark and the skeleton on the side it's still kind of simple and still pretty clean. I don't know, maybe I'm the only one that feels that way. Let me know how you feel about these down below in the comment section. Another thing we need to talk about is pricing, the value of the sneaker, if it's gonna go up, all those different things. And then the overall poll, if people think this shoe is fire or if they think this shoe is trash. So if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on IG so you can participate in the polls and see the results here on the channel. This is what the people said when it comes to fire or trash. 66% of the people chose fire and 34% of the people chose trash. And I get it, everybody's not gonna like this shoe, but I feel like the majority will like this shoe. And the numbers honestly represent this shoe pretty well. Now, when it comes to pricing of this sneaker, like we said, retail was $130. And these are currently going for about 150 bucks in a size 10 and a half. But you guys know me, I'm a size 13, which means what? 
every time it's a size 13, the shoe is either, speaking of that, actually, I forgot to mention one of the most vital things of this whole situation. The shoe is a size 10 and a half. I went to the store to get a 13. I was in line. I was probably like 10th or 12th in line. I wasn't too deep in the line. They didn't even have any size 13s available. The store never even got any for their inventory. And this is a prime example of me telling people why it is so hard to get a size 13 sometimes. It is actually ridiculous. So I went to the store, I was waiting in line. Then I found out they didn't even have any 13s available. I just bought something anyways because I wanted to make the trade and I obviously wanted to give you guys the review. So with all that being said, that's the reason why size 13 sneakers are always more expensive because they're simply just harder to find. And because of that, they're worth $185 instead of $150 just because of the slight rarity, even though it's the same exact shoe, but a different size. So I don't know if that was a little rant or if that was me actually explaining anything, but at the end of the day, if you are a size 13, drop a comment down below in the comment section because I'm telling you, I feel your pain, bruh. I'm just trying to get the shoes in my size so I can appreciate them and rock them and all those different things. But as of right now, I'm looking for a trade or if anything, I'll just sell these and I'll buy another pair and add a couple bucks on it. I'm gonna be at sneaker con so hopefully i can take these there and find a size 13 somewhere i think i don't know i'm trying to figure it out either way i just need this shoe in my size again sorry about that little tangent i have one more final question for you guys and that is simply which one do you like more do you like the black colorway the white colorway the orange colorway or the purple colorway at first i was like oh i really like the white colorway the most and I don't know if it's because I have this purple colorway in hand or if I really love the purple vibes because that kind of just matches with the channel and I typically rock with a lot of different purple colorways when it comes to sneakers and I really love the idea of having a matte purple car one day. I don't know, so for me, this one is my favorite of the four. Let me know which one is your favorite of the four down below in the comment sections. And if you have any predictions on what other colors they would do in the future. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you in another one. All right, y'all, I'm out. Yo, if you enjoyed this video and you wanna make extra money or grow your shoe collection, I want to give you a free video with my three tips that were the most powerful that will help you grow your sneaker collection and make an additional $1,000 to $10,000 a month. All you need to do to get this free video is click on the first link in the description or the comment that's pinned in the comment section. That'll take you to a page where you can enter your email address and I'll make sure that I send you a video right away. And if you enjoyed this video, again, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. My name is DJ, I'm signing out. I got to go, I'm gone, peace. Hey, if you guys made it to the end of this video, drop a comment down below in the comment section saying hashtag DNA fam. You know what I'm saying? Because we the fam, we the crew. You know what I'm saying? I just love seeing all y'all in the comment section. All right, y'all.